Hey everybody, this is Brandon here, and in today's video I'm going to show you how to create a new layer in AutoCAD and add line work or objects to that layer. So to start, we're going to open up our Layer Properties Manager, and I'll close it right now to show you how to get to it. So if you go to the Home tab along the ribbon here, and click this button here, it looks like a stack of papers next to a calculator. If you hover over it here, you can see that it's called Layer Properties and it's going to open up the Layer Properties Manager, and it's this big window here. It might be docked, or it might just be uh, floating out here. Mine's stuck. There it goes. If you have two screens like I normally do, you can throw it off to the side to uh, keep it out of the way, but for now, I'm just going to leave it here. Uh, this video is simply to show you how to create a layer and then start drawing on it. You're going to do this every time you have a new kind of subject or grouping of line work. As you can see, I've got a few layers in my little drawing over here. I'm going to create a new layer for just this line here so that it'll be separate from these other white ones. So, along the top here, you're going to click the, uh, the little piece of paper with a yellow star next to it. That creates a new layer. You can also hit Alt and N, as you can see in the little right up there. So when it starts a new layer, it's going to let you type in a new name for it. If you miss this or you click somewhere, it'll make a layer called Layer 2. You can always change that by right-clicking on it. And uh, name, wait, Rename Layer. Sorry. There it is. Click Rename Layer and you can type in again. You can also hit F2 like most uh, names in Windows, you can change by hitting F2. I'm going to call it White Line. Now obviously you're going to make your name uh, more useful and if you're in the States you can use the uh, layer naming standards which you can find by uh, looking them up in Google. I'll probably post a link below uh, even though I'm in Canada, we use a different set of standards, and every company has their own set of standards. So that'll depend a lot on your circumstances. If you're just working for yourself and you don't care, name them whatever you want. I don't, it doesn't bother me. So, white line. By double clicking, you're at, you uh, move the check mark, which shows that it's the current layer. That means anything you draw or insert will go onto that layer. By double clicking another layer, you change the current layer. You can also see that the current layer is stated up here on the home tab. So I want the white line layer to be current. You can also hit the check mark to make it current. If you'd like to delete a layer, like this layer one here, just hit the X. It's gone. So for white line, we're gonna create or we're gonna change the default color to purple or magenta, as it's called in AutoCAD. And we're going to make sure that the line type is continuous, which is just a solid line. And we're going to leave everything else default. You can click the uh, printer over here to turn off whether or not it will print when you print. If you'd like line work to show up in your drawing but to not print out, simply click it and put the little line through it. So now that we've made our line type current, we're going to go in here and select the line we'd like to change. Now to change a layer, you simply select the object and in the home tab here, click the drop down and select the layer you would like it to be on. You can see the color just changed and it switched it. If we close our layer menu and go to the properties uh, window, which you can bring up by hitting control and one at the same time or right clicking an object and selecting properties. You can also change your layer in the properties menu. So by selecting our object, go to the pull down, oh, that's the color one, sorry, you can do that to change the color, and select the layer you would like to go to. I'm going to leave it at white line, but you can also change it that way. By having this as our current layer, any new line work we draw will uh, come up as purple and on the white line layer. So I'm going to type in PL for a polyline and hit enter and then you can start drawing and you can see right away that it's on the purple layer automatically. And there you have it. That's how you create a layer 
in AutoCAD really quickly and easily and how to make it current. If you have any questions, just post them in the comments below. Also, let me know what you guys would like to learn. Send me your questions. You can uh, send them to me at admin at betteratteverything.info or just post them in the comments below and I'll make a video for you. If I helped you at all or if you'd like to see more videos, please, please hit the like button below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Cheers. Have a good one.